Uh, mate, thanks so much for joining us. Just, you know, not far away, an hour away from the first ball being bowled, and uh, you're prepared to come and talk to us here. Uh, we've just been going back before we move forward today. Th th this season, th uh, sorry, this year, it's been remarkable. Have, have you had a personal highlight of those amazing achievements? Yeah, look, it's been amazing as a team. And, uh, look, I think nothing can go past sort of the World Cup. It's... Um, you know, it was a tremendous effort, but the last 12 months, the boys have worked very, very hard. It's been a long time away from home, um, and under the leadership of Camo, it's just been so calm and relaxed and fantastic, and there's, there's, that's probably the reason why we've had so much success, because we've been able to, you know, have fun off the field, but then when we get together on the field, we work so, so very well together. Yeah. This World Cup, I mean, those first two games, it would have been tough to sort of regather the troops and get some momentum. Um, what, what was the key to... to getting that momentum back in the World Cup? Yeah, I think, Junior, the first two games were very difficult games for us as well. Uh, India in Chennai uh, and then South Africa on the back of that, which we had a fantastic series against. We didn't, we didn't go to plan winning that, but each individual got what they needed to prepare for the World Cup. Um, but, yeah, your back's up the wall, up against the wall, and, uh, you know, Afghanistan, that game there, Maxi oh. 200, that really, you know, set everything up. And having him miss that English game and us just getting across the line there sort of gained that momentum for us. How do you see yourselves now? Because it's been such an incredible year for, for all of you and there's so much experience in that, that squad. Do you see yourselves as, as one of the greats that, or one of the great teams that have played for Australia? For us, it's about just being in the present and who we are and what we're about today. I think, you know, in time you can sit back and reflect and other people can make those comments. For us, it's about going out there and doing our best um, and keeping that legacy going on about Australian cricket worldwide and, and trying to create and keep that dominance going around the world. David, there's your numbers there. You have been such an integral part of this team, which I do think would match up in almost any era. It's always a great discussion. So we are watching a world-class outfit. You've decided mid-year, <coughs> excuse me, you made the announcement that Sydney, you hope, would be your last test. <coughs> excuse me. How are you feeling about that decision now? There's been a lot of white noise around it leading into this uh, particular match tonight. Are you still comfortable that, with that decision? I could have given myself five years like Nathan Lyon. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> no, but for me, it was leading into the World Cup Championship, it was all about you know, how many tests I was going to play. Um, and, and look back, if people uh, you know, read my comments, the ideal scenario would be to finish in Australia. Um, but you still got to score runs, you still got to perform. And you know, I had Lords was, was going to be my last test if I wasn't scoring runs in England. Um, but we managed to keep winning and you know, we were going really well. So the selectors kept the faith in me and, and in the team. And uh, you know, moving forward from there, you know, it's, it's one of those things where you've got to perform. I wanted to you know, keep the media sort of focused about the team and the Ashes and the World Cup Chess Championship. Because I was sick of it all being about me. It's not, it's not about me at all. It's about the team. And if we're winning and we're succeeding and I'm doing my job, then so be it. Yep. And the challenge of Pakistan, how do you see them fronting up? Their bowling attack in particular? Yeah, look, obviously Shane Shah is going to be their, their, big, their big threat. Um, you know, he bowled extremely well during the World Cup. How he's feeling now is another question. Um, but two debutants as well. Uh, they look very, very good. Um, nice line and lengths uh, and can shape the ball. So we'll have to wait and see what they bring when we're out there. We can't have you on the panel, Davey, without asking you about the build-up to this test series and all the drama around it. Uh, you just have a way, though, of being able to compartmentalise and, and put out performances when, you're, when you've had all this noise around you. How do you do that? Yeah, look, I think it's, I've, I've had it going for a long time now. So for me, it's, you know, when I'm outside of cricket and I'm not on this field, I'm either with my family, playing golf or spending time with my, my closest friends. And, and that's what it's all about. I come here today to enjoy the game of cricket and what I love. Um, I still remember my first, my first sort of couple of games with some friends in the Housing Commission growing up, up against the wall of a taped tennis ball. But to come back out here and, and play another you know, home series is, is fantastic. And, and they're still coming along that journey with me. And that's what really sits, sits well with me. And uh, I, I don't listen to that noise. So, so you don't feel in any way it puts extra pressure on you to perform in this test match to keep the, the glare away for Melbourne? No, not at all. For me, I've, I've never really felt pressure. I think when you get out there, I think, you know, you might get a little bit of nerves, but I don't feel the pressure when I go out there. I think everyone's learnt now that it sort of adds fuel to the fire for me when I go out there, but that's not, e that's not the case either. It's just because there's so much hype and talk about it, mm. I think just when you're out there, you just in your zone, you forget about what's out there. I know there's a lot of people watching, but when you're in that zone and you're sitting there in the middle of the wicket or you're standing there in the middle of the wicket with your partner at the other end, all your focus is on that next delivery and then running hard between wickets. So, yeah, that's, that's what you, know, you talk about compartmentalising. 
how important is it to have Usman at the other end? I mean, you guys grew up as kids. Um, he's obviously a great you know, partner to have out in the middle. Yeah, look, he keeps me nice, calm and relaxed. We, we have a few jokes out there. Do you think. run a bit faster, though, you think? <laughs> we don't need to in test cricket. <laughs> um, but, yeah, look, it's going to be interesting. I think we're wearing the mic vest today as well. So if we, if we right. show up in the bat... Um, You'll hear some conversations out there, but uh, Uzi doesn't really say much when he's batting. He just no. comes up, glove punch, watch the ball. So it's, it's pretty tame. Yeah, we're hoping to uh, mark out, hopefully catching up with Usman very, very shortly. There's been a bit of build-up for him leading into this test too, but your numbers against Pakistan are pretty formidable. The, the triple ton uh, on their last tour out here. What is it about their lineup that you take a liking to? I think my, sort of my, my batting sort of rhythm, like if you see when they come around the wicket there, everything's trying to angle away from the bat, so... You sort of know your zones where to um, where to hit, and you know your errors and your dismissals. I think back then when you know Yassir came on to bowl, it was more like I had to try and make the most against him to try and get the fast bowlers back, and uh, have him bowling in the sort of a little bit of late heat in, uh, in Adelaide. So got to bring the fast bowlers back. When you've played as long as you have, you face pretty much all of the bowlers that you come up against. But there's two debutants in this mm. lineup. Uh, how have you been looking to? to go about your business against them? Yeah, I've seen some, some footage of them and um, they look to try and push it away from the left-handers uh, and then bring the odd one back. So for me, it's about picking that zone, whether to drive, what length to drive. But, you know, when there's debutants, you always got to try and apply some pressure and, you know, that's what I try to do from the, from the get-go. And, um, you know, when it's green like that, you swing harder. <laughs> Has your batting changed in any way over the years? You, you talk about putting pressure on the ball. That's sort of been your theme all the way through. Yeah, look, I think maybe my stance, I go back and back and across and try and hold my front leg a little bit longer, and that allows me to pounce into the shot. Um, and I think if I if I go across too early in my stance, the lateness of it would nip away and I might catch a leading edge and then both my feet are stuck on the crease. So that's why I have that sort of prelim now and I try and hold that front foot there. And if anything's in my zone, I can actually throw the kitchen sink at it. Your stats are showing in the last three or four years you've scored more heavily off the back foot compared to the beginning of your career. So that's very interesting. Uh, this pitch... Remember the first test match here three or four years ago it was termed the Green Monster. You've mentioned grass out there. I believe the groundsman's uh, taken a little bit more off it this year uh, so it doesn't stay so compact. What, what do you make of this? Yeah, the boys were saying last year was a fraction slow with all the grass that was on there. Uh, generally, you usually see some crack lines um, in there leading in, but there's none, none there as, as you can see there. But... Um, it looks a nice, nice even grass coverage, mm, I think. Good. I'd like to take my lawn bowls out there and have a game. <laughs> yeah, if, if they're anything like those patches we could tell at the back there, they're going to be nice. It's going to be nice and bouncy. Yeah, fantastic. It's uh, one of five drop-in pitches here. Well, Davey, thank you so much for taking the time on the morning of such a big yeah, game. Well, Wish you all the best today and for the entire series, mate. We can't wait to see you there in Sydney. Thank you all. Cheers. Good luck. Thank you.